And uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, this Thursday night edition of uh, Biz Talks. My name's Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with ZG International, and I'm wearing the shirt to prove it. And uh, I want to welcome all of you to, uh, to our broadcast this evening, or for those of you that are maybe joining us on the replay on the uh, recording on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm very excited this evening. We've got a lot of information to share with you. I've got a very special guest. You're really going to want to hear John Morris's story. Uh, but first, what I want to do is I want to welcome all of you, certainly our established distributors, our, many of our brand new people just getting started with us. Uh, but in, in particular, I want to extend a very warm welcome to those of you that are joining us as a guest. Uh, you may have a, a friend or a family member, maybe a coworker, who's been sharing with you information uh, about our products, about our company. Uh, you know, maybe you've been using our products. And uh, they've been sharing with you about the potential of a, an additional income stream from a home-based business. And that's really what this evening's broadcast is about. It's information for you. And so, you know, first let me start out by asking a real simple question. Why were you invited here? Well, you know, if you're like most people, most people would, if you ask them, uh, would like to have, you know, more income, you know, more financial resources in their life. Uh, many people would like to have more time freedom, you know, flexibility in their day-to-day -day schedule to be able to invest time in, in their families or their church or the, the things that are meaningful to them. Uh, most people would like to have more fun, you know. I mean, how much fun is it going to work for most people? And, and lots of people would like to have either one or more of those things, more income, uh, more time freedom, more fun or meaning in their life. And if you're like most people, then you, you'll understand why you were invited here. And you're gonna be in real good company here with Zija. You know, we've got, you know, a wide range of people that have taken advantage of what we're doing. We've got, you know, people, senior citizens like myself in their 60s and 70s who've been able to create, you know, additional income and in retirement uh, without having to get another full-time job. You'll find young people, you know, millennials, uh, Generation X, young people who, you know, did the deal, you know, they got the education, they got into the corporate world and realized it really wasn't what they were looking for. What they were looking for was a way to create a lifestyle to do something that was meaningful, a, a contribution to society, but do it in their own format, in their own way. You'll find, uh, you know, young couples with children looking for a way to create an additional income from home. That way, both parents don't have to work, you know, a more traditional lifestyle, you know, one parent working, one parent raising the kids. You'll find people, you know, in their, you know, 30s, 40s, and 50s, realizing that, you know, real simple, if they keep doing what they're doing, they're going to keep getting what they're getting. And realizing, you know, the same job, the same income creates the same lifestyle, the same house, the same car, the same vacations. And they're looking for ways to be able to go beyond that. So wherever you are, you're gonna find a lot of commonality with the people here in Zija. And if I could show you how to capitalize on that, how to create a greater income stream, how to create more time freedom so you can devote your life to what you want, to have more fun or more meaning in your life, would it be worth a few minutes of your time uh, to, to get the information? And, and if you can say yes to that, then you're in the right place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a couple of minutes and tell you a little bit about us. And I wanna introduce you to one of the people in Zija that has really epitomized what it is to be a Zija distributor and what this profession and what this company can mean for you. And you know, I was fortunate, uh, you know, many years ago, I, I have a blue collar background, I was a cross country truck driver, and I had the opportunity to look at this type of business to create an above average income and yet still have time freedom uh, to be able to be with and take care of my special needs son as he was gr growing up. Uh, you know, fast forward many years, it's turned into an opportunity for me to work from home and do the most important thing in my life, care for my elderly mother. Uh, mom's 93 years old now. Uh, we've been dealing with dementia issues for a number of years. And this has allowed me to work from home, be able to care for, keep her in her home where she wants to be and create an extraordinary income that can provide for that. And over these years that I've been involved in this profession, I've recognized there are three basic things that you want to be aware of if you're gonna make a decision to be part of this profession. First thing you wanna look at in a company is the corporate team, the people that own and run the company. 
ZG International, the owner of this company has already created two previous companies uh, that have been in business. One's been in business over 40 years now. The other one's still in business after 30 years. Cumulatively, they've done billions of dollars in sales. This is Ken's third company. So we've got a proven track record from the ownership side. Uh, our executive management team, the people who run the company on a day-to-day -day basis, Jeremy Red and his team, they also have a proven track record. They have taken two previous companies from our size today uh, to a billion dollars in annual sales. That's unheard of, okay, to have a corporate team that's done that twice. It's unheard of to have an ownership that's done it twice before. And that's one of the most important things that you can look at is who's running the company. Now, some of the things about ZJ you're gonna to wanna to be aware of. We've already stood the test of time. Our company has been in business over a decade now. That's incredibly unique in the network marketing industry. Most of these companies don't last but about 18, 24 months, five years is considered a good run. We've done over a billion dollars in sales cumulatively in that period of time. Those two things, over a decade in business and over a billion in sales, not only speak to how well established we are, but it puts us in the top 1% of network marketing companies that have ever existed. But probably the very best thing is we're in before the masses, before we're a common household word. Second thing I looked at was products. Products, you know, honestly, you can talk about, you know, how great the people are that run the company, how, you know, the, the pay plan and so on. The products are the foundation. The product is the reason the company exists. And ZG International, uh, we've got what everybody's looking for, okay? We've expanded our product divisions to include healthy weight management, nutrition, sports nutrition. Uh, we've got products related to personal care, home, home uh, products, uh, but it's the buzz today. Everybody wants clean, green, chemical-free, GMO-free. Everything that Zeej is bringing to the market today is 100% science-based uh, performance products, products that make a meaningful difference in people's lives. I always looked at products like this. Number one, look for products that meet a genuine need. Okay, so you don't have to convince people they need their, these products. They're already looking for them. Number two, look for products that are highly consumable. Ideally, something people consume on a daily basis, uh, reorder on a monthly basis, because this is what keeps ongoing revenue stream and can create residual income. Number three, the product's got to really work. Well, when you look at the products that Zija has, the results that people have gotten on these products, you will understand why today we have customers that have been around one year, five years, 10 years, 12 years, um, and they order every single month because they'll never be without their ZJ. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time tonight going over all the variety of different products uh, that we have. We have many avenues for that. Uh, the person that asked you to be part of this broadcast, you know, talk with them. They're gonna share with you a lot of information about our various product divisions and how these products are changing people's lives. The final thing that I look at with a company, third ingredient is timing. Timing is everything. And it, you know, I, I, I've heard this say, it's better to be in the right place at the right time than it is to be smart and good looking. Now, fortunately for me, I got all four, right? Right place, right time. <laughs> That's a, if you didn't laugh at that, folks, that's the best one I got tonight. So, uh, But yeah, it's better to be in the right place at the right time than anything. Today's ZG International is, stands alone as being a company that is poised for major growth with all the right ingredients from corporate staff, executive management team, product line. I'm going to add one more thing in it. This product right here, that little patch is a unique product in the CBD oil market. Nobody has anything like this. We've entered into the CBD oil market with a transdermal 24-hour application patch. We have walked into an industry with a unique application, an industry that's, that's been proposed by Forbes magazine to grow from 500 million a year to over $20 billion a year in the next 24 to 36 months. Imagine that. 
that's timing. And being in before the masses is critical. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna share with you what can happen when somebody makes a decision to do something different and change their life. I'm gonna bring over to this side of the uh, broadcast, uh, John Morris. John, this is your little heads up. I'm gonna bring you over to this side here. Uh, John Morris, John Morris is a gentleman I've had an opportunity to know for a number of years now. Uh, John is, uh, he's one of our most recognizable distributors. Uh, John is part of the distributor advisory board. Uh, John, how are you, sir? Fred, I'm fantastic. How are you tonight, buddy? I'm doing really well. Uh, let me let me put you on hold for one quick second. I, I want to uh, do appropriate introduction. Uh, John Morris, he's a double diamond, double black diamond with the company. Uh, what that really means is he's a really big deal. He's helped lots and lots and lots of people uh, with their you know health, wellness, with their finances. And in particular, one of the reason I asked John to join us this evening, is he has volunteered to be part of the Distributor Advisory Board. Now this is a, a collection of eight of our top distributors who work on a, on a daily basis with the executive management team to help guide the company in creating an environment where all of us can benefit. And, and John, I wanna extend my personal thanks to you. Uh, I know that uh, it takes a lot of time. You have a very large organization that you support. This doesn't provide you with any additional, you know, revenue. All it does is take time away from you. And so, you know, the commitment you make to all of us in the field, we all appreciate that and recognize that. And uh, thank you so much for being part of our broadcast this evening, John. Hey, sure thing, Fred. And, you know, we're here to help each other because, you know, what we say is when, when we win as a company, uh, everybody wins. Absolutely. And, and I like your office. I see the kids and, and teen in the background of the pictures. That's great. You've, you've got all the important trophies there. I see a few Zija trophies up there, but you got the important ones over there, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, what matters most, you know? Absolutely. Well, uh, folks, what I want to do this evening is I want to give you a chance to meet John. Uh, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. And, and what I want you to do is take very close uh, note to the things he shares with you, because John is one of our distributors. He started this, this type of business, like most of us do, on a part-time basis. He was a busy you know, teacher, coach, uh, school administrator, and he worked his Zija business uh, in addition to his life, worked his, you know, the business around his life for four and a half years and created um, his first million dollars in income part-time before he went on to a full-time business with Zijin, and, and you've now retired from teaching and, and uh, being a, a principal and that sort of thing. You're now a full-time distributor, right? Right. And, and uh, now I know you didn't give up coaching. You just gave up coaching everybody else's kids. You coach your own kids now, right? Exactly. Exactly. Well, very good. Uh, let, maybe let's do this, John, because I want people to understand you know, how all of us kind of come to Zijin in a little different way. How were you introduced to Zijin? Well, first, uh, Fred, my sponsor is Dee Hutchins, and Dee is also uh, you know, one of the top distributors in Zija, and he's a good friend of mine that I've known for years. He talked to me about the product. I had zero interest in the product. Uh, he really didn't even talk to me about the business part, and his big thing was, hey, these products are fantastic. They, they work. You know, if you do your research on it, you and your family will want to be on it, and so I told him, I said, Dee, I'm good, buddy. I've got my GNC. I got my vitamins. I got everything here. I said, I'm good. And so he kind of dripped on me for about eight or nine months. And uh, is, you know, I took the philosophy a lot of people did. Hey, if it's that good, it'd be in GNC or Walmart or whatever, you know. And, and then also uh, I found out the company was only about three or four years old. And, and Fred, uh, this is not my first rodeo, as they say. I was in my early 20s. I was involved with a company called Excel Communications. I did well in it. I was a top. 300 earner in it. And so I, I learned a lot about networking myself, uh, a lot of things there uh, when I started uh, that business. And so uh, that long story short, that business went away. I went back to teaching and coaching and really said I would never do networking again, but I knew that it worked if you had the right company and the right product or what you're trying to market. Uh, it's just, I was introduced to a lot of different companies uh, during that time by a lot of different people. It never really took any validity to it, Fred, because I'm one of those, uh, I want to see it from the person who talks to me. So 
you know, I would always cut through the chase, Fred, and I said uh, to people when they call me on an opportunity, I would say, well, how much money are you making? And and usually uh, that would usually shut them up. They would because they would say, well, I'm not making much, but I know somebody who is. And I would say, well, when you when you do, let me know. And I would actually be the type that I would have to see it, either a check or back office, or whatever. Because you know, the reason being is everybody's busy. And and I wanted if I was going to join somebody, I was going to join somebody who's successful and was making it work. So long story short, in that company, I actually uh, tried to get D to do that. He didn't do it. And I just figured that, you know, in this, this would be another thing that's here today, gone tomorrow. Because as you said, most companies within the first five years, they're not here. And so I told D, I I said, hey, if this product is so good and company's so good, it'll still be around. And so he kind of dripped on me for about a year. And so I found out the type of income he was making. And I actually called him back. And I said, hey, man, is this what you're making? And he said, well, no, really, this is what it is. And it's really more than what I thought. And I said, hey, uh, let's talk then. And uh, I knew the Chris Estes guy, his neighbor, uh, just from D talking. And I said, hey, I want to meet with you and Chris. And he said, well, I don't know if Chris can meet or not. And I said, well, I said, I don't want to meet with you until I meet with Chris. Because I believe in going to the top and finding out information from the best possible people. So long story short is uh, we found a, a time the next couple of days that I could meet with him and Chris. I love what I heard. I did a lot of research and due diligence even before I called D back. And I knew if the products work and the company was going to be there, the only variable that I had to decide is that I want to do it. And so to me at that time with a wife and I had two kids and I had another one on the way, I was actually refereeing high school basketball too, Fred. I refereed high school basketball as a head baseball coach and assistant principal. So I didn't have the time. But you know what I had is I had the desire. I was hungry for wanting more than what I had. And I knew that if I could leverage time and be able to use my cell phone to and from work or to and from games or be able to stay up later or, uh, you know, uh, uh, get up earlier, I knew I could leverage time because, you know what, Fred, I, I knew people. I knew people who needed to lose weight and who needed to feel better, who needed uh, a business opportunity because they wanted more than what they had just like me. And so to me, it was the perfect business and the only business I could have worked with my schedule. I just wanted to make sure the other things checked out because I didn't want a business that was here today, gone tomorrow, like some of these are. And so Chris and Dee have been great mentors. They've supported me through the years. And of course, we have a great team with the synergy and culture that we've all created through that. And so that's kind of how I got started back in November of 2010. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting in the background here chuckling. You were that guy that said, hey, you know, how much money are you making? Well, when you make money, Tell me about it, right? Absolutely. You were that guy. You were a tough guy to get, but you were clearly worth it. We we had D on a, a, a previous broadcast here a few weeks ago, and and he certainly spoke about you as well, and uh, you know shared that that you know a lot of times the first person you know the person you talk to isn't going to say yes right away. Now, once you made that decision, and I appreciate you had because of your previous experience, uh, you had to go through a process to make sure this was the real deal. Once you made that that decision, what did you do to get your business going? I mean, busy guy, obviously you were busy. Yeah, well, you know, I think the big thing is we always hear it's a start that stops most people. And so I knew that I had to go through the numbers and I had to do it quick. You know, I took the mentality of somebody could do it in three years, I want to do it in one. If somebody could do it uh, in a certain amount of time, I want to do it quicker, faster, better. And I wanted to be able to minimize time because Networking is about a numbers game. It's about sorting through a lot of people, but getting a few and then helping them duplicate what you're doing. So, you know, when I met Dee and Chris that night, Fred, I got home and had to go to school the next day. I got home at about uh, probably 11 o'clock and uh, I did the fast start training because Chris told me to. I went through things and I probably went to bed at one o'clock that day or that night. And so I ended up the next day making my list while I was at school. I ended up talking to people there. And so my first week uh, that I was in, I signed up 10 people. And so some of them were only as product users. A couple of them said they wanted to work the business. But, you know, what I did is, Fred, is I didn't know much about it. I just told people, look, hey, I'm in this fantastic deal. It's called Zija. It's great nutritional products. This is a business that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it in a big way. I want you with me. Now, by, by signing up 10 people, I had to talk to hundreds now, and that could have been on the phone, it could have been in person, it could have been through a text, 
but I wanted everybody to know what I was doing. So that was my launch. And I believe if you're successful, whether it's a launch or relaunch, you've got to launch your business. You've got to plant your flag. You can't dabble and put your toe in and say, I think I'm going to do this. You have to decide. And so I decided I was going to do this. I was going to do it a big way. It didn't matter who was going to come with me. I was going to find a few people to do it. And so whatever I had to do to get people in, whether it's on the product or in the business, I tried to do that. And then once I got those people in, I tried to find out who wanted to work. And so I got a couple people who kind of wanted to dabble. You know, I got people on the phone with like Chris and Dee and other people. So it was just about sorting through a massive amount of people in a short time, but it was excitement, Fred. I had excitement. I had passion for what I was doing. I was proud to be involved with Zija and I wanted to minimize time and I was willing to pay a price to do it. I was willing to cut out ball games. I was willing to cut out TV. I was willing to stay up later, get up earlier. So I knew that, you know, the, the excuse when people say they don't have time is, is uh, not true. They have time. It's just how they want to spend it and what their priorities are in their time. So for me, cutting out ball games and cutting out, uh, you know, TV and other things was more important uh, to, to support my family because I had a vehicle. You see, before, you know, with what I was doing, I loved education and I loved the kids. I just didn't love a check, you see. And I wanted to be able to, uh, you know, help more people. And I wanted to be able to uh, build something for my family so that they could be able to uh, live a little bit better than what we were before. You know, uh, that's a beautiful thing because you just really hit the nail on the head. Um, you know, the, one of the phrases I've always heard is, you know, start out with the end in mind. You didn't tell people, hey, I'm looking at this business or I'm going to try this business. You said, I'm going to do this business. I'm going to do it in a big way. And I want you to be with me. I mean, who, who wants to follow mediocrity? I mean, you know, that's powerful, powerful stuff, John. And, and you made that decision from the very beginning, you were going to be you know, at the top, be one of the top income earners. Um, a matter of fact, I think I even heard you say that on the uh, the video the company did on you a number of years ago. If you work your business like a hobby, hobbies cost money. Work it like a real business, you can make profit. Absolutely, yes. And uh, so, you know, what I've done over the years, Fred, is, you know, number one in this business, you've got to find, you, you gotta find good people. You know, if you find customers, you're doing additions. If you uh, find business builders, you're multiplying. And so what I did is I tried to do both, but then really spend time with those people who are building it. But once you get a team started, Fred, you have to drive depth. And you, you know, I work with people 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 levels deep that want to work because it doesn't matter who brings them to the table. If they're on your team, you're able to go to work with them. And that's the beauty of network marketing you don't just get paid for what you do because if you did that, that'd be a job. I didn't want a job. I wanted an opportunity and I wanted to be able to, to live a dream where I could do something once and get paid over and over and over again, which that's that residual income. You see, if this was a job about me doing something once and get paid on it, I would have never done that because you see, you, you're trading your time for something. And I said, I can sacrifice in the beginning. I can sacrifice time if I can reap the rewards on the end. And so you get paid for not only what you do, but what you start. And that's the beauty of it. You're getting paid advertising dollars because ZJ doesn't advertise except through us for going out and sharing these incredible life-changing products. So to me, it was a no-brainer. It's just finding a few people, finding some customers, getting excited. And sometimes these customers decide they want to work it. And, you know, some are going to do it. Some aren't, Fred. You know, this is not for everybody, but it only takes a few people to really make a significant income and to impact lives and really make a difference. You know, uh, that's something that's really interesting, John, because uh, I'm sure that, you know, you're like a lot of people, if you think about it, the primary drivers of your business, which now has become a huge part of, uh, you know, Zijo overall, you know, five, six, seven people end up being the, the lion's share of what's driving your business. Uh, we got just a couple of minutes left, John, and, and I'd like to kind of tap your, uh, your, your knowledge here. Uh, because, you know, you've had an opportunity with Zija for a number of years. You've seen us grow from infancy with just, you know, a couple of products to now uh, a line of products that, that pretty much, you know, bring something to the table for every single person. Uh, we're entering a brand new phase of Zija in terms of our professionalism, the development of the business, the growth, 
Uh, you have an inside track because you, uh, part of the, uh, the distributor advisory board membership, you're one of those eight folks that are working shoulder to shoulder with the executive management team. What can you say to uh, you know, our, our, our visitors, people that are just taking a look, you know, maybe thinking, well, you know, company's been around for a while. Is there a chance to really be part of you know, the exponential growth? What do you see happening uh, in the next, say, you know, three to five years with Zija, or maybe even more importantly, in the next 12 to 24 months with Zija? Sure, Fred, and a hey, great question. And first of all, you know, with our new management team, you know, Jeremy Red has experience. So we say we study history because it repeats itself. And so he has history uh, of, positive, uh, of positive results in a company to be able to grow and take them to another level. And without getting into depth, he's really kind of came into Zija, has kind of cleaned up a lot of things before because over the last, you know, four or five years, zija has been very consistent, but we really haven't grown as much as a lot of other companies. And so with our products, we have the best nutritional products in the world, as you know, Fred. And so, you know, what I like about Jeremy, he's putting a structured plan in place and me being an organized person with structure, you know, he's got a two-year product pipeline. He's got his incentives mapped out for what he and his corporate team are doing. Uh, he's got everything mapped out about what they're doing, how they're doing it. Uh, he's cutting costs for the company, which is going to put money back into the distributors and making sure we're on sound financial ground. So the first thing I have seen when he comes in is he wants to make sure to solidify the company that we're here for years to come, which he's done. And now he's starting to put incentives in place for the distributors and the field to be able to maximize things in the comp plan. So, you know, as I said, I'm a big proponent of structure and organization and being able to you know, kind of do the same things over and over because that's what duplicates, Fred. And over the last few years, we haven't really had that. And so now I'm excited about where we're headed and uh, all the new things that are coming. So can't get into depth on all the new things, but it's a very exciting time. And, and you know, when, when a new regime comes in, it takes time. You know, they've been here, you know, about nine months. It takes time. And, and I know the summit of 2020 is kind of when he's saying that They'll kind of have all their programs and incentives kind of baked in. So I'm excited, you know, over these next eight or nine months to get the summit and to see what's coming out of that. But of course, when we grow, Fred, it means everybody's checks grow and everybody gets excited. And so I can't wait uh, to see what's happening over the next, you know, nine to 12 months in this company because it's going to be a fun ride. But here's the thing. If you're, if you're waiting back right now, you're not going to be able to enjoy the ride. You've you got to be doing the work today and you just have to trust that, hey, this is going to be a big time event about what's going to be happening. And that way you can reap the rewards because if you're going to wait then, you're going to kind of stunt your growth. So, you know, work this like your hair is on fire, understand better days uh, in your business are just ahead if you do that. John, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the, the wisdom and the experience that you've brought to our broadcast this evening. Congratulations on all your success. And, uh, and again, thank you on behalf of everybody. The time you commit to the distributor advisory board, uh, it's not going unrecognized. We appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much, John, for being with us tonight. Hey, thanks, Fred, for having me. You guys have a great night. All right. We'll let John get back over to the other side of the uh, uh, broadcast here. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I don't know if I can really say any more uh, information for you that would make a difference. Uh, what you've heard this evening in the last few minutes, uh, we've got a company that's already stood the test of time. We've done something that less than 1% of the companies in the entire profession of network marketing have ever done in terms of being, you know, a decade in business, a billion dollars in sales. But more importantly, we've got the foundation. We've got the experience of the ownership having already built two previous companies still in business today, cumulatively well over 70 years, billions in sales. We've got the executive management team that's already taken two previous companies our size to a billion in annual sales. And then you heard from a man that has demonstrated, if you are serious about changing your future, a very short period of time of focus and effort can change everything for you. And we are just at the beginning of what most people, you know, 10, 20, 30 years from now, we'll refer to the year 2020 as the launch of Zeej International. So what I'd like to do in closing, uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna ask you to do two things, folks. Uh, the, those of you that are, are invited guests. Uh, first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is, is 
get back with the person asked you to be part of tonight's broadcast or they directed you to the uh, replay on the YouTube channel and, you know, ask your questions, you know, learn about more about the product, learn more about the business, make a decision to get the information that you need to make a decision. Now, for those of you, for some of you, you're going to want to use our products. Great. Get on our products. We have a 30 day unconditional money back guarantee. Use the products. You're going to love them. And if you don't, you get all your money back. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. For some of you, you're going to want to be part of the Zija mission, be part of growing the company and reaping the benefits like John Morris just said. If you're ready to get started, the person that asked you to be here with us this evening, uh, they will show you exactly what you need to do to get in, get trained and get going. And then Saturday morning, two days from now, Saturday morning, we're going to host a very special new distributor training designed specifically for what would a brand new distributor starting today want to do for the next 60, what, 63 days left in the year to be able to launch their business in 2020. So thank you for joining us. Uh, one last special shout out to, uh, to John for joining us. John Morris, you're, you're, you're a champion, man. You're a champion and I appreciate so much you joining us this evening. With that, I'm gonna let you go. Have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you Saturday morning, same webinar link, uh, 10 o'clock uh, uh, Pacific time, one o'clock in the afternoon East Coast time for our new distributor training. And uh, have a great evening. We'll see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.